In this video, we're integrating 2x squared times e to the pi x cubed dx, first by using an informal approach of setting up the chain rule backwards, and then we'll follow it up with a formal u substitution. So in the informal approach, basically we recognize that we have a function of a function, that's e to some complicated function, pi x cubed, and the inner function there is the pi x cubed. And then we notice that we essentially have the derivative of that sitting right next to the exponential piece. And we can recognize this as the chain rule operating on the antiderivative. So we have to adjust things a little because the derivative of the exponent there is actually 3 pi x squared using the power rule. So really we want a 3 pi x squared next to this exponential piece. And we're allowed to move constants in and out of an integral. So the way we get that 3 pi is by first pulling the 2 out. So now it's out in front. And then we'll put a 1 over 3 pi out in front. So I have a 2 over 3 pi out in front. If I was to redistribute that into the interior, I would get the integral I started with. So I can see that this is a legal operation. With the derivative of the interior function sitting right next to e to that function, we can just guess the antiderivative now. It's just e to the pi x cubed. And don't forget your plus c. And that's it. Now in the formal approach to the problem, you still have to recognize that you have a function of a function, and then the derivative of the inner function is sitting there. We're going to let u be equal to the inner function, pi x cubed. And then du is 3 pi x squared dx. And when we look at our original integrand, we see that x squared piece hanging around. And that's essential. We have to have that piece in order to build du. Just for the sake of variety, we can explicitly transform dx by solving for it. And that's du divided by 3 pi x squared. And we'll make all our substitutions. Remember, pi x cubed was u, so I have an e to the u there. And then dx is du over 3 pi x squared. Now, if we didn't have the right function piece there, that x squared, the substitution wouldn't work. So those cancel out, and everything cleans up really nicely. And I end up with a 2 over 3 pi integral of e to the u du. That's 2 over 3 pi e to the u for the antiderivative plus c. And then we sub in the original u value, and I have 2 over 3 pi e to the pi x cubed plus c. And we verify our original answer. If you enjoyed this video, or at least found it useful, Check out another one by clicking one of the links on the left, or click the Zach's Lab logo on the right to explore dozens of physics and math playlists. As always, you can leave your questions, comments, and requests in the comments section below, and I'll get back to you within 24 hours. Thanks for watching Zach's Lab, and best of luck on your math and physics journey.